today from Mexico City. It's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. We'll see Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Today, it's an NFC West battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. It's an Indian summer afternoon. Perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. Throwing on first down is Murray. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Now the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Throwing again, Murray. And that's off the mark, incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Out of the gun, here's Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Cardinal first down, Murray to Hopkins. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs are going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Murray a give. This is Drake. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive of your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield? to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. The Rams 
Ravens calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. From the gun, Murray sliding out of the... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Andy Lee on to kick it away. Forty-five yards. That's what the punt goes for. Five on the return, and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. There's a toughness about Jared Goff that maybe he doesn't get enough credit for. His freshman year at Cal, the team went 1-11. His rookie year with the Rams, he was 0-7 as a starter. Undaunted in either case, and has come back each and every time to flash the ability that made him the number one overall pick in the draft when he came out of Cal. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Akers, the ball carrier. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's good for an L.A. Rams. First and ten at the 36-yard line. They'll run on first down with Akers. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. No gain on the play. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. the gun. Goff gets this into the hands of the tight end Higby. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Goff now to throw. Going up top for Cup. And the throw there going to be incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? 
the one yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. From his own end zone now, it's Murray rolling. Yeah, Kyler Murray cannot get away. They drag him down to the end zone for two points. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here as safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's file this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Oh, the return is Jones. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Gain of seven brings up second and three. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. First down pass play, second and three. A shotgun snap for Goff. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, gone. A quick pass to Cup. Gone. Three yards the game there, second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Goff throwing again. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time, and it's third down. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Again, Goff. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Now Goff on first down. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. 
And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. down. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Throwing again is gone. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. They'll look to run with Akers. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Matt Gay set After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Shotgun now for Murray. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. And it's second down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. to throw again Murray now he'll pull it down 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From the gun, Murray. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. 11 more yards. That's another Cardinals first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Murray, he's used to moving fast in Oklahoma. He'll get his guys up to the line. Murray now on first down. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, he'll run it. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Operating from the gun, Murray. Now he'll escape to his right. He may try and run for this. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. So halftime in a five-point game. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half from the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. the second half gets started on the return it's Simba Webster and they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27 Webster on the return the Rams take over first and 10 at their LA set to take over again on offense their defense has pitched the shutout now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room maybe make it a two score game as they've got it first and 10 
from the gun. Here's Goff. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Now it's gone. Open man, Higby, the tight end. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed great hands and big bodies which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks man open it's cup he's got it and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down well they were in search of a short gain on third down and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards at the 40 and brandon from our time in college football where receivers weren't running the traditional nfl route tree one thing they did learn find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Goff's throw here finds Woods. And he's gonna get this down near the 30 yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first and 10, golf. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To the air again. Golf. Open man is Higby, the tight end. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. play on the completion got them half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five now golf that's going to be caught by josh reynolds and they take him down losing yardage back at the 27 it'll wind up being a loss of two and that's going to make it fourth down and that was a heck of a play there on the outside partner sometimes i think on a play like this is a corner You've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first one. This from 44 yards out now. And Gay knocks this one through. And thanks to his safety and two field goals, this is now an 8 nothing game. Well, looking at it from a defensive 
defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. Now this will make it into the end zone, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Kyler Murray going to lead the Cardinals back out on offense. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. He's going to take off with it. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Throwing again on second down. Murray. And his throw here is incomplete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Complete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. From the gun, Murray. They'll roll him out right. He can run for it, and he will. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. <laughs> 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. On first down, it's gone. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a first down throw, gone. This one to the left to Higby. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Mexico City. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter.
So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A shotgun snap for Goff. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. On the ground, it's Akers. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. I think it might be time to move to a different section of the playbook there because back-to-back -back runs, both for loss. Now they have third and long coming up. Two plays, each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Out of the gun, Goff. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. In that time for the sack, say hello to Chandler Jones. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them. And they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game. This drive here can erase all of what happened previously. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again, Murray. And his pass, incomplete. Murray. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. The Cardinals on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Throw left side complete. That's Drake. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play at them while you've got them rocked on their heels. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And this will be incomplete. And fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. 
Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The Cardinals on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Throwing again, Murray. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Murray again. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll be taken down at the 26. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. At the 26-yard line. final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the Cardinals they've got the football here as we get your reset they come up on a first and ten desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive and Murray gets this into the hands of Edmonds. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. 24-yard line. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. Back to throw. Caught left side, Hopkins. And they'll get this down to the 10. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that? That time, they weren't. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. They'll look to throw. Steps away to his, and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. 10-yard touchdown run. And now the Cardinals are within a two-point conversion of tying up this game. The touchdown is huge, but the focus now is on the two-point play. I don't want to say they have a cushion here, but if they don't get it, they still have a chance for an outside kick. Yeah, they would need some big-time help, but you're right. There would be a shot, but the focus right now on that two-point conversion. So here's a big play for the Cardinals as they'll go for two. He's back to throw. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. That keeps the score Rams eight. And the failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point. You're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. So with just over a minute to play, this becomes a make-or-break onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. 
The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. down acres and he's going to be met at about the 43 the cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven They'll go again here with Akers, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. The Cards going nickel, an extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now gone. This pass complete to Reynolds. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. Goff with a kneel down here, and that should put a conclusion to this one. Today's final score, Ray hey Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say adios from Mexico City.